G'day YouTubers, it's me, John Green, Dominique Green. Today, we decided to uh, hire a car, because we sold our car during the great quarantine of 2021. That was this year, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, and right now, we hired a car, and we have every plan to go to the Cliffs of Moa. And right now, I mean, I've never been there, but we're not very far away from the Cliffs of Moa. Uh, the reason I'm filming now, though, is because I'm not sure if it's going to be windy and stuff. We might not be able to talk while we're up there. But we'll definitely give you a look at what's going on and sort of what's happening. So far, the weather's pretty good. Let's have a look. Look at that. It's not even raining. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're following a tractor. That would only be the Irish way to do things. Oh, look, he pulled over a bit. Oh, that's nice. Uh, All right. <laughs> anyway, so in full insurance. We have full insurance, so we're not concerned. Uh, we're going into uh, I don't know which car park, but apparently there's uh, a car park you pay for, and there's it's close to the action. So we'll probably end up there. I'll film a bit in the car park maybe, but I'm sure because they are cliffs, it'll be windy as hell. Either way, stay tuned, you're gonna see some interesting stuff. And I'm gonna use the zoom function on this camera a lot today, I think, because I'm very, very afraid to go near the edge of the cliffs. Let's see what can we see before we get there. Yeah, you can sort of see there's a, we are going uphill. I guess for every metre that we go up, the, the cliffs will be even taller. But uh, I think they're all on the same level, aren't they? Yeah, the cliffs are all on the same level. And I think they're 500 metres high. Is that right? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. We'll do some reading. Cliffs of Moa. All right, Dominique has to stay focused on the road, of course. It's a higher car. You can see the ocean. Pretty much. <laughs> Either way, all right. We'll be there very soon. Stay tuned. We found it. All right, it wasn't hard to find, actually. It was very easy to find. Is that guy having a piss? Yep. <laughs> Got him. All right, there he is. All right. Anyway, that's not important. <laughs> What's more important is we're at the cliffs of Moa. We're not actually at the cliffs yet, not the cliff face. This is what the car park looks like. That's right, cliffs of Moa car park. Um, there's some kind of visitor center. I got my GoPro on a stick, uh, just in case we're gonna hang it over the edge of the cliff, because I'm afraid to go near the edge. But my GoPro is pretty long. Uh, keep walking, I get a mask, I don't have a mask. All right, you still have to have a mask and they take your information just in case there's a COVID flare-up. Well, we're pretty hopeful. I mean, it's sea air, it's sunny. It's quite a warm day here in Ireland and at the cliffs. It's actually quite pleasant. I'm sure it's quite different when it's raining, but right now it's like the nicest summer weather you can imagine. Let's go visit some cows. Chauffeur parking, I think, means bus. I just want to look at some cows here. <laughs> Let's look at them. Shit. Hey, guys. We got cows on the cliffs, looking down at the ocean. All the way down there and the cliffs are sort of behind me you can't see them of course because they're very very on the edge they're high and we're going up there we'll be up there in a few minutes we made it it was only like 50 meters but um that is the visitor center which is underground which is kind of cool actually so it doesn't interfere with the, the scenery and then over here, behind my wife, uh, Dust Cliff and... D Cliff. Was it 
de-cliffing because there's many of them. All right, so let's get a little closer to that. I'm gonna walk up there. That's where we are. Where are we? You, you are here. Yep. Can walk all the way down. I think this is where we were at the start. See, ah, can walk. That's I think a long this is walk. Where we're, yes. Right. Oh, the dog belongs to him, maybe. No. Different dog. That was interesting there, huh? Yeah. The two dogs, wow. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be our dogs. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll get you all. We're on the trail. Okay, I don't know the name of it, but on the other end of it, there's a little castle thingy. You'd think it'd be a lighthouse, but I don't think it is. Do you know the name of that castle thing? Isn't that O'Brien Oh, is that? Oh, everyone, it belongs to every O'Brien, right? Yeah. Yes. It's O'Brien's Tower. Let's have a look at it. Right opposite Das Cliffen. D Cliffen. Oh look, can check you can, <laughs> they have Wi-Fi, Maybe it's, it's good to know, <laughs> I could download some things while I'm here, <laughs> yeah it belongs to every O'Brien, we watched Conan O'Brien visits Ireland yesterday, it was pretty funny. Okay we're at the Cliffs of Moor, this is where O'Brien Tower is located. This castle kind of belongs to me, doesn't it? Sure, it belongs to all the brains, yeah. I'm gonna go up there right now. Is it really beautiful up there? Oh, it's spectacular. It's spectacular. It's, yes, it's the highest point. In the I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna go up there and reclaim my heritage. Thank you very much, brother. <laughs> And I imagine this part of the cliff walk is the part everybody does, yeah. including your grandma, even if she's in a wheelchair or a baby or whatever and it's absolutely accessible and there's nothing about this that is unattainable even if you're in a wheelchair you have wheelchair access there are ramps and things Let's have a look at this tower it's pretty cool actually it looks better than when Conan was here I can't believe I made it this is O'Brien Castle this is my castle it's up here on the cliffs of Moor I have no idea why my ancestors abandoned it. It must have been idiots. It's beautiful. Who would leave this place? Hi. How do you like my castle? You like it here? Welcome. Welcome to my castle. Welcome to my castle. It's amazing. I'm back home. I can't believe I'm back home. Oh. <laughs> they must have repainted it. Probably. An interesting building. Oh, there's a dog up there too. <laughs> All right. It's very nice weather today. There's a bay of some kind over there. It's lovely, and it's not even busy. Yeah, we saw other people doing videos like Venga Boys and stuff. And uh, there, was, there was a lot of tourists. There were buses. There were heaps of people. And lots of people telling you to stop climbing over the barriers. But today, there's not that many tourists. It's very nice though. And we're going to walk all the way along here. All the way till we get to that tower at the end of the... If that's a peninsula. We're going to walk all the way down to there in the next hour or so. First we're going to see the rest of what's up here. Lots of babies and kids and everyone really. It's not too busy at all. Alright, let's look at that. It's the ocean. 
Or maybe it's a restaurant. It's pretty amazing. Right. Can't get the hang of this zoom very good, but highly recommended. Highly recommended. Very easy, easy walk, easy tourist place to visit. What do you think? Good, it's cool. Okay, yeah, and the weather's if it's awesome. It's not cloudy really good when it's raining you can't even see the cliffs <laughs> you can see the cliffs all right from here I think there's one of those towers down there, one of those pillars where birds are making their nests. The weather's awesome. We can see everything. The trail's in much better condition than I expected, except there's the old trail, and if you're going to walk that, you're taking your life into your own hands. This is the new trail, as it's marked out. You can see that, can you see that? There, these are the new trails, and these are much safer. You know, people come with children, I wouldn't push a pram up here or a wheelchair, but certainly you can bring your family. Just don't climb over. That pathway is so precariously close to the edge. Paradise. I want to have a look at that pillar. The zoom on this is pretty good. Yeah, it is. They're awesome. Some people climb them. Freaks. <sighs> yeah, so the path is quite accessible. I would call this the more difficult of the two paths. Some of the other paths have been closed down since. Maybe because of COVID, maybe just because of the danger involved. There's my missus. It's quite nice. As again, everything's in bloom. It's summer. It's going off. You know, before we came, we looked at a few, actually as many videos as we could on um, uh, the Cliffs of Moa, uh, especially the people who died here, the tourists who took selfies to death, or the people who just simply committed suicide. And we found one of the places. <laughs> Look at this. It's an actual selfie seat where you can sit down and dangle your legs over the cliff. And look how clean it is. It's like worn by the number of people who've gone there. You could just imagine a person sitting on there, looking out over the ocean, turning back to wave at a loved one. Might be the last thing they ever do. The last thing I ever do. All right, so that's a death spot right there. We saw another one back there, it was pretty cool. Uh -huh. Yep, here's another death spot. We thought we'd catch it for you. Oh, no, it's okay. 
I guess these things go down into the ground. <laughs> I'm leaning against the wall and I'm just showing you this is the path that people would walk along and this is another one of them selfie deaf spots where you can tell because the, the rocks are very clean and so smooth from people climbing over and taking pictures there. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean it's a few hundred meters up. There's nothing down there but jagged rocks and birds will eat you. <laughs> it is nice though. It's a pretty place. Look here's another one of these breakout spots. See someone could be sitting along the edge and the edge just goes bye bye while you're sitting on it. You can actually see the part that would break off. That's the part that would break off right there. And if you're sitting on it, it comes with you. Yeah. Ah, the death guide. Look at the blue sky. I carry the water. Okay. Yeah, this is the, the steepest part of the walk coming up right now. Eco challenge. Eco challenge for the people that are physically challenged. That's me. I'm physically challenged. Um, still, it's not too bad. Some people brought a baby and they abandoned their pram halfway. <laughs> you heard them, the Russians or whatever back there. They were carrying the baby. So it's a little challenging. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 2. Definitely a two. It's not scary or challenging. This side is scary and challenging. All of that. A lot of these stones look like they're new. Because the tops are still clean. So that's yeah, the, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the old you're paths. Right. Yeah, from rain. And all of that would change colour. Do you think the EU pay for it? Sure. Because it's a national heritage site. cows Let's zoom in on these guys <laughs> Get some more footage on the top of the hill We're at one of the most popular spots. I don't think it has a name But it was a congregating area where lots of people would be doing selfies and things like that but nowadays you can't because they closed it all off this uh, barricade, this wall here is new I thought it might have been they're still building it as we speak so this barrier is to save lives in the olden days they used to brag that there were no edges and people could just fall off they did, they did but not anymore Nowadays, it's a lot safer. Yep, you can see some of these selfie spots there. You've probably seen them in every video on YouTube, but have a look anyway. <laughs> Cliffs. Yeah, we're going to climb over there. There's someone. And then we're going to go all the way down to there. All right. Right, I just wanted to document it a tiny bit. We can actually see the work taking place. They're moving these giant slabs of stone. They're clearing the pathway. We tourists are just walking around it. You can see it being built. It is being built as we speak. So, if you're a fan of Irish history, you better come quick, because it's not going to look the same next time. It's going to be different. They might build a lookout or something over here. It's very nice, actually. But all of this is new. Thank you, EU, for funding this. Thank you. It's much safer. A lot less death. 
Yeah, that was the highest point. I think, or is that the highest point up there? Still. Very, very impressive. Bluest of the blue sea. Really cool. Look, there are more islands over there. Can you see through there? Hoppala! That's why you put a wall there. Yeah. Quite a view. Water all around. Now remember, if you're watching this video, I don't recommend climbing over that fence. This uh, pathway, or this, this set of stones is the only thing that stops you from coming over to this side. And this side is much more dangerous because if you slip, you take a tumble, you trip, you go a little further than you wanted to and you just keep going. It's frightening. But guess what else? Now there is no option. Yeah, now there is one option and that's not to do it and that's what I choose. I thought we were going to walk down to the, the tower. I don't want to walk on this side. But I'm sure it's a lot safer than like it was up to now. Do you think it's dangerous? Well, I can tell you that I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm not doing it. You can go. I wait here. Oh. Well, I don't want to do it by myself. Alright, this is the point where, yeah, there's no protection between you and the ocean now. So, I think Dominique wants to stop and turn around. What do you think? I don't want to die today. I have the car for two days more. Okay. All right, well, that's as far as we're going on today's trip, which is fine. I mean, look at these people, they're enjoying themselves, sitting on the edge of the cliff. But we're not going to do that. We're more sensible. Plus, we're going to the Burren after this, so we can film a little bit more, and then we can get moving. I just wanted to show you this harbour. It's quite nice. don't know if we can see it properly. Alright, so we're going to turn around at this point anyway, and we're going to go back, probably where Debbie and Mark probably turned around as well. Mark fell off, and Debbie is now very sad. Uh, what's the date? The 30th. Okay, it's so that was four ago. days ago. It's not even cold yet. Four days ago, someone scribbled on there. Uh, we saw some graffiti on some. Anyway, so we're going to head back, and I'll film a bit of it. Because uh, it's summertime and all of the flowers are blooming. I don't know what these cute little purple ones are called, but they're all over the place. You've got your usual daffodils and uh, what else do we see? Some strange flowers that I can't comprehend. I don't know the names of. Unfortunately, there's litter. I guess there's not much you can do about that when it's such a busy tourist zone. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oop. Okay. Let's head back. I kind of thought it was a thing of the past. The sitting on the edge? But no, people still do it. It's still an opportunity for people to die here because people still climb along the edges. Don't do it, fellas and ladies. Actually, we saw more women doing it than men. Yeah, we did. One was on her phone. Yeah. 
If you're gonna do a cliff walk, it's probably best to put your phone in your pocket, huh? Showing you some people. <laughs> they are good. Look at that one. Oof. Okay, and now on this side, the ocean. Warm day. Okay guys, it's been, I don't know, an hour or so, we've been walking around here. We've come back now from the pathway because we didn't want to walk along the edge of the cliff and you can see this is where we started. So we've kind of come full circle. And there's the visitor centre, which is sort of hard to tell, which I think is quite nice because then it doesn't um, ruin the vibe of the whole place. Very interesting. I said on top of this is satellite. Yeah, there's satellite dishes and mobile phone posts. Probably for the tourists to have their Wi Fi now. Wi Fi, yeah. Yep, there's definitely a lot of action. Yep, looking good. I'm in the visitor center, that's why I have to wear a mask. Have a look. Very modern building, very clean, COVID safe. What's over here? Looks like an education center. It's over here. Quite extensive. Yeah. There's the bathroom. Some sort of learning annex. Wildlife. History. The Clare family. All right. 
the center itself seems to have been carved out of rock. We're going to check out the the Cliffs of Moha experience. Oh, frozen. We can watch it. Starts in 12 seconds. It's here. Yeah. Or there, maybe. It's a strange museum. All right, let's go in. Let's see what's happening behind the door. They must have had some money coming from somewhere because this place looks very expensive. Hmm. The cooking pot. You can check your name. Oh, Ryan. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, let's check the name. No quarters in Ireland. Oh, well. Maybe next time. 
Well, there are now. That's a cafe. All right. All, All right. right. Yeah, we're going to head off now. We had a good look. We saw the 3D fish of the ocean documentary or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool though. And it's, it's, free. it's good that it doesn't cost anything. It's included. Yep. There's a nice big gift shop which we don't go in. I, I do a photo All right, we'll just go in and have a quick look. All right. Just Looking good. <laughs>